Hi, I'm Karen Mulhanny and welcome to 54 Castle Avenue, which is St. Dominic's. 54 Castle Avenue, Clontarf, Dublin 3. Coming to market for 2.995 million. We are a very substantial period property on a huge corner site. There's also rear access and a couple of the other houses have put views properties at the back as well. So you potentially have development potential at the back subject to planning and to the side as well. The house itself is beyond magnificent. It's huge historical significance here. So in 1898, Colonel Edward Vernon sold or leased the land to a man called Mr. Dolan. Mr. Dolan built four, uh, four sets of semi-detached properties. Uh, they windowed over raised basement and there's this is one that's the other and it goes the whole way down to the Clunturf Castle roundabout so we have four sets of magnificent semi-detached red brick properties here he built these for his daughters one to live in and one to rent and have an income from uh, fact of the matter is the daughter here or rumor has it never actually moved in here and she chose to move out to Sutton instead so our current owners have lived here for 40 years. They have restored an awful lot of the pieces that were dumped and found in the back garden, bizarrely. Um, I'm dying to show it to you, but it's not gonna be one of our normal videos because it's such a huge house. We're only going to show you parts of it, okay? So <clears throat> what we have is we have a raised basement level, which houses two uh, living rooms, bathroom, kitchen, and two pantry rooms under those beautiful granite steps there. On the first floor, we have a magnificent hallway with two outstanding reception rooms. And I don't know if this video is going to do those justice. And on top of it all, we have six bedrooms and a further two bathrooms as well. So this is by appointment only. For more information, go to kmproperty.ie. But if you wish to make an appointment to view, contact us at info at kmproperty.ie. Uh, we're going to head up those magnificent steps and show you some of the inside. So you're very welcome coming in. As you can see, we have all the original features here with stained glass to the side of the front doors. We have these magnificent tile features, original tiled flooring, and you're walking into the hallway which also has original wooden floors. So there are original wooden floors throughout this house. Original cornicing, coving. This is a magnificent hallway. So this has a section that an awful lot of these houses don't have. Um, this is something I just want to show you. It's not going to look like much on the video, but I'd love to know what that was originally or what was there originally. It's definitely a feature you could make something amazing out of. As I said, you've got all these gorgeous, gorgeous features. We have exceptionally high ceilings, and I really don't know if it's going to do it justice, as I said, but we have these two reception rooms, beautifully restored original doors, and check this out for the reception room. How outstanding is this? This is so beautiful. I love the ceiling rows, I love the coving. This is an original fireplace that the current owners found dumped in the back garden. So the people that this, the current owners bought it from was actually a father white, I believe, and he used to use this room as a chapel. So he took the fireplace out and current owners found it dumped out back. If you span around, you'll see the dining room, which is again, another enormous reception room through some beautiful double doors. Again, an original fireplace. I might bleat on a bit about the fireplaces, but that's because every single bedroom has an original fireplace, as do the raised basement level living rooms, and of course these rooms as well. So we're coming from the hall level down to the half floor return, where we have another two bedrooms, um, and then all the bedrooms are double, by the way, and then we're gonna head down to the basement level as well, okay? So we're in the raised basement level in the coziest of kitchens, and it's almost like a country kitchen. This is exceptionally warm. This is our Aggie here. We have a door leading into the back garden. As I said, on this level, we have two living rooms, a utility, 
a bathroom, this gorgeous cosy kitchen and two pantry rooms leading out under the granite steps there as well. So we're at the side of the house here and we've come out the side door. The garden has been fenced off from the front. So from the front, you're looking at the full width of the garden at the corner of Seafield Road and Castle Avenue. As you can see behind me, we have an extensive garden here. We also have off street parking at the back with double gates. I think we're the only one on this stretch of four, four, the four pairs of semis that haven't actually gone in the back and built at the rear. Um, there is also a purpose-built cement block shed back there. It is magnificent. We have original stone walls. Um, we're, we're kind of down a level here, which is lovely as well. Um, but look at the size of this. Like It's just absolutely enormous. Um, so you have garden to the front, you have garden and rear access to the rear and you have this huge garden to the side as well. So we're trying to decide which you use as your master. Would you use the one at the back or would you use this one at the front? Again, another magnificent fireplace, huge room, huge ceiling heights, original wooden flooring. It is absolutely magnificent. We are on the top of the house here where we have three large double bedrooms. We've come up via the return, the half floor or the first floor return where we had two bathrooms and another bedroom. So this is, I reckon, one, two, three. On the return is number four and on the half floor return are bedrooms five and six. And that concludes the expansive accommodation that I could not recommend more highly to view at 54 Castle Avenue. For more information, go to kmproperty.ie.